little town of Ajo. Five, correct? Yep, still on eighty five. All right, we just spent the night at uh, Passport America Club Campground. Um, I don't know, that's a whole other thing, but it's worth looking into. It's like half price for stuff if you can get them to agree to the time that you're there. At any rate, we did that because uh, we're leaving the Yuma area and all the BLM, so we had picked up our package. Ooh, look at the Jeep. And, um, but we still needed to dump our tanks and get water and stuff like that, so it's just easier to get a campground. So we did that, and now this morning we're on our way to um, Oregon Pipe Cactus National Monument Park. And we're going through the little town of Ajo right now, so. The Ajo Flower Shop. Douglas Funeral Home. Oh, look at this. Green grass. That looks like real, well, you know, Arizona grass. It's not turf. Designated areas only. And it says 17 miles until there's camping. And a little ominous over there. Friday at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so we're hoping we can get in. Couldn't find any place online to get a camp spot, so. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. oh wonderful. Garbage pail. Alright, let's sit down again. Uh, as it turned out, there was no one at the um, park entrance there, but a couple that was riding by on the bicycles explained to us that you just kind of drive in there and um, it'll tell you on the front if there's a vacancy or not. And um, there was one. We did get a spot um, because of our national park pass. We paid half price for camping and there was no entrance fee, of course. So it was, uh, I think, 10 bucks for maybe eight i can't remember whatever it was um and then you just dropped it in this um envelope and put it um at the front there there was a drop box so this is us filming as we're walking around the outside of the campground it was really nice they they did a good job um of taking care of things and it was very pleasant but there was no electric anywhere in the park um we were glad to be at least seated for a while, stopped for a while because of the weather that was coming. But um, this was not a place that we could uh, open up our package that we picked up, too. So um, that is still coming. We'll tell you all about that shortly. So we're leaving this gorgeous park. We only stayed one night because um, there were no electric sites. For some reason, I thought there was. Um, but anyways, it's hard to justify even paying ten dollars um, for for the night with when we can get something very similar to this so we'll then stay for free in the BLM. So um, we're still trying to get some place we can relax for a few days, and uh, so we are going to go as far as the casino today. So um, right along. 
I don't know if you noticed, but you can go back and look, but there's a sign there that says, um, as we're coming into the park, that says uh, smuggling and illegal immigration may be encountered in this area, and you're supposed to dial 911 to report any suspicious activity. So that was pretty novel to me. Never seen anything like that, but we are really close to the Mexico border here, so um, I think we're going to get even a little bit closer eventually. So, all right, here we go. On to the casino. I didn't expect to see snow today. here at the Desert Diamond Casino and a um, very frustrating ride around this whole parking lot trying to figure out um, where we're supposed to be as RVs to spend the night. We had a couple sources say that it was okay to spend the night so we're still looking. Are you going? Yes, wait. Cool. I'm gonna be whipping or shitty here. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn it. Okay, after that truck. After this truck? We can stay here. We'll probably just go right there. <sighs> what do we got here? We got two bars of LTE. My weather came up immediately, which before it wasn't. Are you hungry already? I'm going here for lunch. Is that what you want to do, or? No, I just want to. Well, we can. We can eat now, or then not eat later. Just want to go make. Ask somebody if we can spend the night out here first of all, too. Yeah. And if there's any special place we have to be. Fifty-four subscribers. Well, that's another new one. What? Oh, we only had fifty-three. 436 views. And, uh, come back out and talk to Miss Araya and tell her how hard it is to get 100 subscribers. Yes. <laughs> She'll probably laugh. And say, I know! Granny grandparents. Wow. Well. What? 62 channels. <laughs> we have 62 channels here? Oh, so you're going to have TV. Yes. Yeah, well, let's go find out if the restaurant's even open. You want to go? I think you're going to need your coat. Yeah. It's 55 degrees. I need my purse, too. Well, you probably already figured out that uh, we forgot the camera was on, but um, 
As it turns out, they met us at the door, and security says, so you're in an RV, right? And I said, yeah. And they were like, where did you park? And I said, lot 17. And then she proceeds to tell me that we can't stay overnight, but we certainly were welcome to stay till they're closed, which was 2 o'clock in the morning. And that all had to do with COVID and their rules changing. And I'm sure because they weren't open all night anymore, they couldn't let people stay. So we had to go find another place. So we went in and gambled a little bit and came back out and regrouped and tried to figure out where we were going to go. So we've left the casino and uh, we're going to try and find a place here at this BLM. Um, open range. Yeah, it's turning out to be a long day, but there's supposed to be several areas here to pick from, so we'll just uh, keep on going in and See what we find. Where does it say we're supposed to go? Farther down? Farther in here, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this, what? this is typical BLM land road in though. Wow. Oh uh -huh. That's going about mm, five miles an hour. Five miles an hour. Later in the day than we wanted to get to a place like this, but it is what it is. So. Oh. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Middle of nowhere here. Yep, that's uh, snow on the mountains over there. We're south of Tucson. We had to come all the way here because I'm trying. Got to trying <laughs> to get the new toy. Ah! <laughs> oh. Okay. And there he is. I don't know, looks like he's already figured it out. You're in the National Forest and you can't fly. Ah, you can't fly the drones in the National Forest. So we, we're gonna go to, I don't know, it's a long story. We've been kind of all over the place just trying to figure out some place we could get some, some service and um, get some cell phone service and also some um, TV and yeah, you know how we are. Like to have all those comforts at home. And we woke up this morning here and it was 32 degrees. So it's pretty freaking cold. But I think it's like, I don't know, 40 something now. So totally doable. But so this was our surprise. And it's, we got ordered a drone, um, Ruko. I think they're all foldable drones now, but I don't know. It's uh, got a really nice case, and apparently that's not something that's real common to have a nice case come with it. It's always an afterthought. It was relatively very inexpensive. I think it was under $300, which is pretty wild but um scott's uh having fun trying to figure it out looks like he already has figured it out but my hands are freezing your hands are freezing well you got gloves where's your gloves <laughs> it's beyond it'd, it'd that be, it'd be good if i was shoveling snow oh yeah but not trying to operate a drone huh no here show us the little controller quick yeah, that holds the phone. And you need the phone, and you need... These, these are the antennas. You need the phone to what? So you can see where you're going. Oh, and that's it, right. It also you're... controls the drone. Oh, do you have to have Wi-Fi to it? No. No, no you have to have Bluetooth. Oh. 
for the holder, extra battery. Yeah. Fits in there very snugly. Yeah. The case is inside the box still, but we're just... Yeah, and this just... The little legs fold down. The little legs. <laughs> Oops. One folds in before the other one. There, it's all folded up. Ready to go. Okay, so we're done playing for for now. We're, we're done playing it. for now because I am too cold. Okay, there you go.